Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Right, it's day 13. This is today's vlog. Um, I'm just gonna get straight into it. Today has been one of them crazy days, okay? I sat with a girl today, her name is Asma, okay? And we filmed a powerful piece with her, all right? And inshallah, over the next few days, inshallah, you're gonna see uh, her story, who she is, and, and find out, you know, a little bit more about her. But I'm gonna give you guys a brief breakdown of how I feel after meeting this amazing child, all right? First of all, where do I begin? She lost her arm in a bowel bomb or a rocket attack. I don't even know, explosion took her arm off two years ago, all right? Now, when she got hit by this bomb, she just said it felt as if, you know, she didn't feel pain, but it felt as if something had just fallen, she dropped something, all right? Now we've got the images of Asma and the moment that she was hit and when she was in the hospital and so on and so forth, it's very, very strong, okay? She was playing with her friends, her next door neighbors. She left the home, she was running back to her house and boom, the bomb struck. A child that was next to her, boy carrying bread, he was killed. So we brought this family, Asma and her mum, into our offices, into the studio today. And we had a small chat with them. And SubhanAllah, their story is immense. Her mother, um, in 2011, in the beginning of the revolution, had her husband taken away from her, okay? In front of her children. He was dragged out of the house by soldiers and they took him away. And later on she found out she, they, he had been killed, okay? And I asked her, I said, why did your husband, why did you think they took your husband? She said, wallahi, I don't know. He was a simple man. The only reason I can think of is because he had a beard similar to yours, all right? So I was like, wow. So imagine this child now, Asma, she was in the house. Her father was dragged out in front of him, beaten, humiliated, then taken and they find out he gets killed. Later on, two years later, a bomb falls and she's now left only with one arm and other injuries, okay? After this, she goes into a depression. You know, she lived in a bathroom for four months after speaking to her mum. Her mum said to me, my daughter lived in a bathroom for four months because she was too afraid to come out. Somebody told her that if you stay in a bathroom, then the aeroplanes can't hit you, the helicopters can't hit you. Subhanallah, like, imagine that. All right? Don't these people deserve a home? You know, right now, they're still living under bombs. I asked Asma, I said to her, don't you feel scared? She said, yeah, we feel scared. You know, these people need counseling. She needs, wallahi, this girl, I look at her as my own daughter. I look at her as my own, my own child. And when I look at her and I think, subhanAllah, you know, she needs, she needs a hug. She needs someone to talk to her. And she needs, you know, she needs someone to build her confidence back up. You know, these are the kind of people that we want to help. You know, inshallah, over the next few days, we are going to be pushing for our new orphan village that we're bu building, all right? It's going to have three sections. It's going to have uh, homes for the special uh, orphans that are, you know, special needs, okay? It's going to have, you know, orphan families that are a widow with between three to, 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 to um, or three or more children. It's going to have homes for widows with one or two children. Okay, so we're trying to cater for all the different types of orphans that we have here. But doesn't somebody that's been through a story like this deserve a home? Okay, let me give you another example. Two days ago in Idlib city, a rocket fell and a family's home was destroyed. Their mother survived and she turned up to the hospital with her two-year-old baby. The baby's feet had been blown off. SubhanAllah, imagine you come to the hospital, your baby's feet have been blown off, all right? Members of your family have been killed. Your whole house has been destroyed. What do we say? What do we say to her? Wallahi, we can't say to her, you know what? We want to save you. We want to avenge your family. We, you know, it's not within our capability to, you know, get revenge and get rid of these transgressors and these evil people because that's what we want to do. But it's not within our capability. 
But is all we can do give them a food box? Shouldn't we, out of respect, respect, be able to at least take them to a safe area? Say, you know what, you've been through a hard time. This is what you've seen. As our Muslim sister, you know what, we're going to build you a home. You know, we're going to put you in a safe place. We're going to give your children education. They lost their father. They lost their brothers and sisters. Can't, can we not do that? Well, I sometimes I ask myself, look, we can't get rid of the oppressors. Okay, but let's make their lives easier. SubhanAllah, you know, she was given a house of fire in this dunya. Literally, her house was on fire. There was a baby. You can see the pictures on the internet. The baby was so burnt, there was no fingers left on the body. There was no toes left on the body of the baby. A house of fire in this dunya. But Wallahi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves these people. You know, maybe we might be living in beautiful homes right now. But you know what? What will be our state on Yawm al -Qiyam? Maybe we will be, you know, having houses of fire. Wallahi, have fear for this, my brothers and sisters. Isn't it? The least that we can do is take them to a safe place and build up. These are the people that we want to look after. These are the people that need your support. These are the people that when they make dua for you, their duas are accepted. Wallahi, I ask all of my brothers and sisters, anybody who watches this video, you know, this orphan village that we're building now, the orphans that we're supporting now, you know, this is for you. This is your project, inshallah. And you know what? If you build them a house today, Imagine the house that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give you in Jannah. You know, for looking after an orphan. You know, maybe you're going to be sitting there on your al Qiyamah. You're going to be sweating with your sins. You're going to be crying. You're going to be thinking, what have I done? And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa will come and say, you know what? I and the one who looked after the orphan will be like this. And he will come in front of you. And this house that you built for this orphan mother and her children, they went through hell. They literally... Saw their family burnt alive. You built them a house. Imagine the rewards. So, Wallahi, look, I know, you know, you might be thinking six thousand pounds for a house for people with special needs is a lot. Uh, Three thousand pounds for a widow is a lot. But you know what? You don't have to do it on your own. We're not asking you to pay for it all yourself. Wallahi, all I want from any one of you guys that are there right now, just inbox us. Put a comment in the bottom of this video now. We'll make you your own fundraising page. All you have to do is make a small WhatsApp group. Invite all your friends and family. You can use zakat for these projects. Lillah, sadaqah, everything. These people are the most needy people on the face of the planet. And that one small WhatsApp group, you know, could make such a big difference. You could raise free grand just from your friends and family. But imagine what you've done. You know, imagine what you'll be able to say to Allah SWT. You know, we will have something to say. So inshallah, I'm going to leave it there. Anyone who wants to support, www.saveoursyria.com If you want to support the orphans, it's www.orphansinsyria.com Anyone who wants a Facebook page, inbox us now. Share this video. You know what? Wallahi, this is from my heart. Inshallah, I hope it penetrates your heart. And anything bad that I've said is from me. And anything, anything good is from Allah SWT. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum.